A biological cause for violence. So what's making people violent? Besides just their own evil, right? People are violent in ways, violent against innocent people because they're evil, but there's also a biological cause that could be making people violent. Okay, so this is Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She's one of my favorite nutritionists. Um, she is very popular on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel and everything. I put her links in the description of this if you want to check her out. She said something very interesting in one of her lectures, okay? It was about uh, serotonin and its role in violence. Let's listen to this. Said in that study. Serotonin also regulates pro-social behavior. I'm getting ready to submit another paper next week or in the next two weeks on how um, social behavior, so serotonin regulates executive function, things like um, learning, memory tasks, decision making, it regulates behavior, um, pro-social behavior, it regulates impulsivity, so it um, prevents you from being too impulsive, and it also regulates uh, aggression, impulse aggression, and these things are all common, they've been found to be common in uh, mental health disorders like uh, schizophrenia, ADHD, bipolar disorder, things like that. Um, Researchers have found that when you can actually deplete a normal person of their serotonin and these people become more impulsive, their long-term decision-making gets shut down, uh, and they've shown the opposite, where you can flood someone with serotonin in their brain and it makes them more adverse to harming people, which kind of raises a very interesting question on whether or not serotonin plays a role in morality, but I'll save that for the philosophers. Okay. Wow. Wasn't that interesting? Um... So, serot serotonin depletion can make people more violent. So, if you have violent impulses, consider that maybe you're depleted in serotonin. You have something going wrong in your brain that's making you more prone to violence. It's a very important idea. Um, so, yeah, we, with the question, I mean, I still hold everyone responsible for their actions. This is not to say that people don't have their free will. But chemical imbalances in the brain, with no doubt, they can make people, they can mess people up in a multitude of ways, including them making them more violent. So it's something to consider. And if you're more violent, if you are one of these people who's depleted in serotonin, you have a lowered chance of living forever when you think about it. Because if you're violent, you do something stupid and then you go to prison. And then if you're in prison, that's going to totally lower your chance of living forever. Or you could do something violent and then there's gonna be some backlash and someone's gonna kill you or something. So don't be violent. Okay. Unless of course out of self-defense, then you would wanna be violent, I guess. Let's see here. Uh, serotonin. So serotonin is thought of as the happy hormone. And I've, I've included an article in the description about ways to increase your serotonin levels. And people who are low in serotonin, they could be more likely to be depressed. And this is something you wanna make sure you're not low in. And uh, yes, very, very important. Here's a little excerpt. There are many researchers who believe that an imbalance in serotonin levels may influence mood in a way that leads to depression. See, so. A lot of people out there are depressed and it could just be a chemical imbalance in your brain 